Hello YouTube, uh, Dan here again. Um, just doing a brief video here, hopefully brief. Um, first off, I am not smoking anything today. I am on the back end of a cold slash the flu for the past week and it's been kicking the snot out of me. If I start hacking on you here, I do apologize. Anyhow, um, so since I'm not smoking anything, what am I going to talk about today? Uh, well, first off is going to be this along with this. Um, I enjoy watching the videos by Stuff and Things, my friend Bradley down in Bellingham. How are you, sir? And one of the things he's talked about in the past and done reviews on is various um, notebooks and journals and so on. And uh, I've always thought about journaling. I've tried to journal in the past, and I haven't done a good job of it. So I ended up um, looking into it. The other thing that I've always been interested in is writing with fountain pens. But my issue is I'm a lefty. And being a lefty, fountain pens can be a lousy thing because uh, you can smudge with your fingers as you drag it across. I'm not one of those lefties that are all hooked over. I, I turn the book, so I am going across, but I still end up dragging across my last few rows of uh, writing. So yeah, I went to a local pen shop in Vancouver, and I checked out their pens, and they were great. And they got me into these uh, Pilot Petite uh, fountain pens. They're less than, I'd say around $5 a pen, Canadian. And I got a blue and a black. They're a medium nib and tried them out for a while. And also I was into uh, making my own notebooks uh, where you would take a cover that was really a box from something and it was using six packs and 12 pack boxes because they've got some neat artwork on them. And make the cover, you use an elastic band, excuse me, <coughs> and you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet, fold it in half lengthwise, cut it, put those together, you do a few of those sheets, and now you've got paper in it. And I got into journaling with these uh, pilot pens. So <clears throat> I got looking into it and I decided, you know, let's see what notebooks are on line, Amazon, whatever. And I came across on Amazon, The Wanderings Traveler's Notebook. And it is basically like a Midori notebook. It's got a leather cover. It's quite nice, fairly thick as you can see, but soft, but got some stiffness to it. And it came with, let's see if I can show you here, three books. There's one inside the left cover, a middle book, and an end book. And the way that it's set up is there's an elastic here that goes through the leather, and the middle notebook is through that one. And then the two outside ones have an elastic around each of those in the middle, and you slide that in underneath the middle book. So now you've got these three books bound in your leather. It has a covered strap to hold it together, like so. Uh, it's really quite nice. The, the leather is sort of taking its marks and becoming mine. And then I went online as well on Amazon and I went looking for a fountain pen. And I started looking at various ones, but then I looked at the Pilot ones. If the Pilot Petites were fine for me, why not get another Pilot one? I saw this. I think I really quite like the styling of it. It's fairly conservative, but um, I think neat looking. Like neat as in looks tidy with me. Um, there you go. It's a fine point nib, which was recommended to me for being a lefty. And I got it, and it has been fantastic. I love it. This on Amazon Canada, 25 bucks. This with the three liners, 25 bucks. A lot of the others, you can spend hundreds on pens, and you can spend upwards of 100 or more for these. So for 25 bucks and 25 bucks, pretty good. So, in my notebook, I've made notes for today. Um, so that was topic number one. Uh, I just came back 
from Mexico. So nice to come back and a week later get sick as a dog. Um, but one of the comments I was going to have for in Mexico was blends with hot climates. Uh, for the trip, I took with me uh, Peterson's Irish Oak. The tin I have has no comment of Perique in the description. So I'm just calling it a Virginia. Uh, I took some Frog Martin on town, and I took some Pacific Flake, which is a vapor from one of our local tobacconists. <coughs> Sorry. What I found really interesting was that hot climate comparison to what I'd have up here in the winter and the fall. You know, I really like my Englishes. Uh, I've really got into this Pacific Flake uh, vapor. It's quite nice. And I also like my Virginia uh, Peterson's Irish Oak. And what I found was the Irish Oak was really nice down there. I enjoyed it in the hot climate and so on. Whereas the Frog Morton I'm down, I found it was too much. It, it, you, you know, it's not a heavy English, but I found it. It was too heavy. And vapor. That would be Tito you hear in the back room. You want to go outside? Stand by. I'll go let him up. There we go. He's out. Oh, by the way, this I got out of one of my local pubs. I'm going to close it down. I believe it's a picture of old Tom Morris. Old Scottish golfer from the late 1800s. Anyhow, <coughs> I found the, the vapor, though, was okay, but I lost something in that hot, humid climate. So that's my two cents on that. The other thing that I found, if anyone's going to Mexico and you're going to take some pipes with you or whatever, normally we take uh, carry-on baggage so we don't have check bags. So I didn't take a lighter with me. I thought, well, let's buy one when I'm down there. They wanted at the resort or at the archaeological sites bazaars, $5 US for a Bic lighter or some disposable lighter. So I wasn't going to spend that. Luckily, bought one off one of the bartenders for a buck. I was happy with that. But, man. So if you're going, take your own lighter in your check baggage. All right. Uh, the other thing I was going to talk about <clears throat> was Aristocob pipes. Now, this is not Scott of Aristocob. Um, this is the metal pipe, Art Deco pipe, or whatever that you would see. I've got a couple minutes left here. I've always been kind of interested in them, but I'd just go look at it and that would be it. But I was actually on Scott from Aristocob.com. Great guy. Check him out, please. Um, and he had bought one because his website is Aristocob, but he doesn't have an Aristocob pipe. So it got me thinking about it. <clears throat> and I got looking online. And sure enough, on eBay, I found a Buy It Now uh, Aristocob pipe. There we go. And it was, uh, it also had two more of the metal parts without the cap. And this pipe with the stem for 25 bucks. So I bought them. Okay. So when I first got them, I figured I want to clean them. I figured they're metal and they're cheap. Chucked them in the dishwasher. Came out nice and clean. Still needed to run the pipe cleaner through the shank and through the mouthpiece here. But otherwise, came out clean enough. Um, but they didn't come with any of the corn cob inserts. So I decided I would make some. As you guys have seen in any of my other videos, I like playing around with my cherry wood branches or whatever. So what I did though, it wasn't cherry wood, but I went to Home Depot, picked up a one inch dowel of hardwood, and I have made my own insert. Uh, I've got a three quarter inch Forstner bit, hand drilled it. Thankfully didn't slip off and go into my own hand because I was literally holding and drilling. Uh, and the hole in the bottom is a 5.30 seconds hole. And drops in. It does taper a little bit, so I use my pocket knife to whittle it down a bit. 
You can see there's like a chamfer here on the edge. Let me see if I put that against my black sweatshirt. A bit of a chamfer there. So again, whittled it, sand them down. And in it goes. And tighten this down. Line up the mold a bit. And there we go. So I'm anxious to actually try this out and see how it does. Worst case, I crack the bowl and I will have to uh, make a new one. I'm going to make a few. The one inch uh, hardwood dowel for four feet of it was um, six bucks, seven bucks. So I can probably make give or take with cutting and losing a little bit with cutting off. It's about a one inch length, um, 40 bowls. So that'll be pretty cool. Anyhow, guys, that is all I had to talk about today. Sorry I'm sick and I can't enjoy a pipe this week with the Vancouver Pipe Club and the International Pipe Smoking Day. But I hope you guys all have had a great day. We're getting a nice little bit of snow here in the Vancouver area, which is not rare, but it's a pretty good dump we're getting uh, for the next 24 hours. And otherwise, I hope you guys are all having a great day, having uh, good smokes, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.